guys, honestly, after last episode, you we there's no choice to put some respect on Takamichi's name. Like honestly, Takamichi, he's really proven himself last episode. And most importantly, he's proven himself to himself. And I'm so proud of him for that. I'm so happy for him. I think that's exactly what he needed. And not just him, but Sendo and the, the, the rest of the crew, they all had the opportunity to face their fears and confront that trauma and get over it. And I am so proud of them, honestly. Um, so my expectations for this episode is everybody's going to have to put some respect on Takamichi's name. Like... They're gonna have, they're gonna recognize all that he's done so far for the game because the things that he's done is monumental like it's extreme save draken's life literally save draken's life um kept mikey and draken from breaking up from breaking up the gang and i just foresee him officially joining the joining the gang i mean the name of this episode is called respect and I'm under the impression that it's respect for Takamichi. So all you Takamichi haters out there, I'ma need y'all to like chill out because he deserves nothing but respect in my opinion. Um, let's just see what the aftermath of this is. And if Takamichi goes back to the future, however which way he does, he goes back to the future to talk to Naoto, let's just see what happens. I'm so excited. I'd be, I'd be waiting for Tokyo Revengers every week. They're like, we just had to fight for our life. Look at him scared about the cops. Bit True loyalty. Wow, see. Look, what Sendo, Takamichi, Drake, what they got, that's loyalty. But you see how Kiyomasa's crew just ditched him? Yes, they did do it. He said super miracle punch. <laughs> They're like, hey, our, our job ain't over yet. We gotta get them to the hospital. Oh, and the girls went and got the paramedics. Look at them. <laughs> you see that guy on top of the <laughs> dude? Ooh. Look at them. They're the only two, two still standing, really. This guy's like, I am so tired of you. Who is that? He said Hanma-san, so that means he's like his, uh, what if that's like his right hand man? Valhalla? Oh, he's the first vice commander. So it seems to me, with the interference of Takamichi, it's given rise to Valhalla gang to manipulate Mobius. But I wonder, I wonder if Valhalla's always played a role, like in a previous timeline, but they just never knew. So I'm curious to know what exactly has changed because of, well, we know the obvious stuff, what's changed because of Takamichi's interference. But there was a lot of stuff like maybe even in the old timeline like people didn't know about. Like who, like for example, who was pulling the strings? Like who was um, Osanai alluding to? Hanma? Kisaki? You know, did those two people change? Like was it Kisaki and now it's Hanma? Do you know what I, y'all know what I mean? Oh, drinking. Oh, please be okay. Oh. Oh, you saved my life. He's like, no, for real. What does that mean? <gasps> no. Are you for real? No, oh, drinking, no. 
Really? Oh my god, I thought we were out of the woods. I mean, he... I mean, yeah, he wasn't technically at the hospital yet, but like... Oh man. Oh my god, please, please, please. Oh my god. This is all fucking Payon's fault. <laughs> this fucking dude. Really? Payon and Kiyomasa. But seriously. Oh, Payon, you have some nerve. Ooh. Oh my god, please. Oh, it's Mikey. I thought that was the doctor. This is like... Oh my god, please, please let Drake and be okay. Alright, I'm gonna believe in him. I'm gonna believe in him. I'm just really scared. Oh god. I really hope so. I feel like this is the type of show... This is the type of show where we gonna see all this and the doctor gonna be like, he didn't make it. <laughs> I'm waiting for that light to go off. Oh god, okay. Please, please lord. He's probably lost a lot of blood, needed a blood transfusion. <sighs> I feel like I'm standing right there in the hospital. Takamichi, you did it. I know if I was Emma, I'd be, I'd be bawling. Yeah, Payon, you feel real guilty, huh? He probably feels like he don't deserve to be there or something. Yeah, I don't blame him for feeling that way. Yeah, we get why you did it, but you still went too far. Wow. Drake went with his parents to see him every day. Tell him, Mitsuya. Let him know. Payon, where were you at? Yeah, you better fucking apologize. Ooh. Ooh. You really tried to kill the dude. What was everybody else at? Nobody else went to go visit Pechen every day. Dragon deserves the world, okay? He deserves the fucking world. You did it, Takamichi. You made it, like barely. You did it. If I was Takamichi. Oh, I'm so happy. I know Takamichi was struggling. You know, Mikey's got to keep his cool in front of everybody else, but to himself, he's probably like... He's probably like, I can't do this without Draken. Mm. Because, you know, he's just, he got in front of everybody else, he got to keep his cool, keep everybody else calm, you know? Look at this dude. I can't with him. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, Takamichi deserves it. He said, whatever do you mean? Drake and give, giving him that reality trick. Okay, creeper. <laughs> oh, it's the uniform! Wow. Oh, 
Basically, yeah, he saved shit. Wow. Center of the universe. Um, <laughs> I'm loving it. Yeah, you deserve it, Takamichi. An easy feeling. Oh uh, yeah, oh! I mean, these are, le these are legitimate questions. And as the leader, shit, you gotta ask him. Is he gonna tell Taka Mikey the truth? I, f I foresee... I first see Takamichi gonna have to explain to Mikey the truth. He be knowing stuff. How did you know? It was way back before when they were fighting at his house. He was like, I don't want Tomon to break up. Now that he goes back into the future, Draken's gonna be alive. Hopefully he don't die at any other point, but... Oh, I can't wait to see the outcome of that. And I've always wondered, since... Takamichi stood up to Kiyomasa the first time during the fight. And that influenced Akun and the others to get courage to stand up to the rest of Kiyomasa's group. How is Sendo gonna be in the future? Is he still gonna be as afraid as Kisa of Kisaki? Oh my gosh, it's just every time he leaves himself, his past self be getting into trouble though. Okay, let's see. Yeah, Akun's no longer scared no more. Unless Draken decides to leave Toban. Wait a minute, what the fuck are we doing here? He got fired though. Don't tell me he don't know, they don't know each other. God, I'm scared. No, it's true, it happened. He got stabbed, it happened. Okay, why the fuck does he know now till no more? <gasps> Sendo got his uh, salon! Akun got his salon! <gasps> wow! Wow. He's not of that gang no more. He look, you know, he ain't got the hollow cheeks. He looks healthy. He looks like he be eating meals. He eats <laughs> three meals a day. <laughs> he got his hair. Wow. This makes me so happy. Okay, so far so good though. Oh, now Toaster remembers him. Thank God. Please don't end. No! <laughs> Hina's still alive, but something, everything can't be fully perfect. Can we see Draken and Mikey? I was scared there for a second that he didn't know Naoto no more. Thank goodness. Guys, okay, you know what? I hope it's not too good to be true. It's not too good to be true. Now, we knew that Draken dying, he was the catalyst for a whole bunch of other messed up stuff happening to everybody else. But because he didn't die, 
Mikey didn't change. Or oh, I hope so. Hope he didn't change too much. He didn't change. Toman didn't become this evil gang. Therefore, Hina's still alive. Kisaki never became number two. And Sendo never commits suicide. He becomes a hairstylist. He's not a part of the gang no more. I wonder what happened to their other friends. But I'm um, so... This was a real happy episode. We needed like some good news, okay? We deserve good news because we've been going through it. Us as the fans, we've been going through it these last few episodes. They had us there in the first half. They Okay, not gonna lie. They had us there for the first half with Drake and Drake and going in cardiac arrest, but thank goodness. Now, I will say Tak uh, Takamichi and Mikey, when they were on the roof and Mikey was getting, he was just like, how did you know about all this stuff? You knew exactly what was going to happen. Now, Mikey, now, now Takamichi becoming part of the gang now, or basically becoming part of the group, he's going to know more stuff. I foresee he's going to have to tell Mikey the truth eventually. Because the type of leader Mikey is, he's the type that will confront you and he's just like, so how did you know? Because it kind of looks like, Takamichi, if you knew all this, then... Like, how did you know you over there talking to Mobius? Are you talking to our enemies? Like, what's going on? How, you know, so totally reasonable. Totally reasonable. I feel like, and it's not too um, unrealistic to have Mikey question him like that. Because anybody that pays attention, if you're someone that really pays attention, and Mikey is the leader. He's very perceptive. So I would think he, he, even when Mikey first met Takamichi in a playground, he was like, are you really a middle, middle schooler? It was like he was already questioning him from day one, from off rip. So as you guys already know, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying the show. Can't wait for next week. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like, comment. Don't forget to subscribe, y'all. And I'll catch you guys later. Bye.